Hello everyone, Vito is for you back again with another edition of What's on Deck and we've got several things to talk about here. Let's see, about eight projects, seven or eight. Um and a couple other things to talk about and it's WrestleMania Day. WrestleMania is gonna be on in a few hours, looking forward to that. But I wanna get this up before I start watching the stream. So let's get on with it. First of all, on Kickstarter, I want to mention this one, Bicycle Gluttony from Collectible Playing Cards. It is 73% funded, four days to go, uh, just under $1,500 left. I believe they can make it. Uh, if you really want to get the stack funded, then uh, get out there and pledge for it if you really want to see this one happen because it's a pretty uh, you know fun deck. It should be made and I'm sure it will be made eventually. And I'm sure it will fun. It's just a matter of time. But uh, if you really like it, make sure you get out there and support it. Let's move on. Next up, something new from PlayingCards.net, Gambler's Warehouse, the Liberty Back Point Cards. Apparently designed by Jackson Robinson. Um, they're pretty nice. There is red and blue standard. This is kind of going to be like the version of a Rider Back. Uh, produced by Liberty Playing Cards, which is their own company. And you see the bat design, very nice. I've I've seen these before, quite some time ago last year. I would imagine uh, it took a while for them to get them out, but they finally did. You see the bat design there of a uh, Statue of Liberty, uh, hand, <laughs> flame, the torch. I should say it's pretty nice, fairly standard on the faces, to be expected. And there's a red and. Then there is a special gold one, which is printed by Expert Point Guard Company. Limited edition, only a thousand. Less than that being made available on the project because it's already been produced and they already sold some to people at the last 52 uh, Joker and Deck convention. Uh, oh, speaking of which, I don't recall if I said this last week, actually. I didn't. I just found out about it. Unfortunately, um, Ted Dawson... Uh, it is Ted Dawson, right? I believe it's Ted Dawson. I apologize if I got the name incorrect today. Um, who is the, uh, is one of the owners of PlayingCardForm.com and was a long-time avid card collector. He's probably like one of the forefathers of, of card collecting. Him and his wife, Judy. And, uh, he unfortunately passed away on the 22nd after an illness, a respiratory illness for a few weeks, so my condolences to Judy and all his children. Uh, very big part of the card community. He is the owner of the 52 Plus Joker website and or club and convention that they had on every year or so. And now they have annual decks with 52 Plus Jokers and it's just, it's a big loss for the community. And, uh, and also recently, uh, the Magic community had a big loss in Paul Daniels, who is a long-time magician from the UK. Excellent guy, uh, excellent magician. I always loved his stuff. If you've never seen his stuff, I highly recommend checking it out. He's just, uh, he's funny, he's extremely talented, he's one of the best magicians in the world. I put him up there with David Copperfield, and unfortunately, earlier this year, he was diagnosed with an incurable brain tumor, and he passed away a couple weeks ago as well. Some big losses. Anyways, uh, moving along. So here you see the golds. These ones are already made, like I said, through expert point guards. Only 800 available on this project. Unfortunately, you cannot get the gold ones by themselves because they're already produced. So they cannot legally sell something on Kickstarter that is already produced and is already made available. So if you want to get them, you have to get at the very least six red and blue, and you get a free gold one. It's a good deal, especially since it's a Jackson Robinson deck, the value can only go up. Um, and it's only 35 bucks for seven decks, that's five bucks each. I think, I mean, yeah, I'm going to be getting four decks I don't need, at the very least, but it's a good deal. It's still lots available, or you can get a brick for 60 bucks. It's an even better deal. And again, you get the free... You get two free gold decks, actually. Oh, wait. <laughs> um, 
On top of that, they have a stretch goal at $15,000. They are already funded, well funded, almost 300% funded, over $14,000. We're going to hit that stretch goal. The stretch goal, what is it? I'm looking forward to this one as well. It is a new Bicycle Americana deck, which was originally uh, put out in a red version by Circle City Cards years ago. Of course, Circle City Cards turned into a bunch of jerks, and they left. They had to get the sort themselves because they did get the art from Circle City Cards, but they lost contact with them. Uh, I guess Russell basically told me to screw himself, and he said, well, screw you. He got the art anyways, and he's producing them. Looks like it's going to have a nice vintage style seal, although it would be better if it was a stamp type seal. Very nice looking deck. Um, moving along, Galavant Point Guards by Connor Henley. It's for his project. It's uh, slowly getting there. 31% funded, 24 days to go. I think the biggest problem with this is the price. 13 pounds plus shipping. It's over 20 pounds or about 20 pounds with shipping, at least to Canada. And I know they're charging American shipping as well, like 7 pounds. So it's the same thing. Might actually be a little bit more to Canada. Um, that's pretty pricey. I mean, that's over $30 for one deck. Uh, it's a very nice looking deck. As you can see, blue colored pips for the hearts and diamonds. Nice art. Uh, sadly, a one-way back design. And the borders are a bit thick. But the art is nice. Um... It's just the price is not good. And he was going to look into that, but I don't know if he's done anything about that as of yet. It's a pretty nice deck, though, but I mean, just the price isn't that good. Got a lot. Moving along, Jet Setter, Premier Edition and Altitude Blue. I think I mentioned this one last week. Might have mentioned it, but I... Wasn't, I'm not sure if it already launched. But I'm mentioning it again anyway. It's almost there. 84% uh, funded, 23 days to go. It's going to happen. It's just a matter of time. Get it done, Bites Forward. It's a good deck. Great price. Uh, nine bucks more shipping for one deck. Free shipping in the US. It doesn't get much better than that, really. Especially on Kickstarter. <laughs> Usually you pay double. Um, here's your back design. Simple. Thin border. Airplane pattern throughout, similar to the previous one, except they've added the logo, so it's still kind of casino style. Except it's bordered, and it's got the logos. Nice ace of spades. Fairly standard on the artwork, but custom colors. And the jokers, I like. They got reveals on them, and what else was there? Is an added bonus for Traveling Magician, where both jokers have a location dedicated for a written prediction or signature, so that's pretty cool. Being produced by Expert Playing Card Company, which I had to question because previously they went with Legends in the last one, so I don't understand the change. Um, let's see if he responded. Or did he even post a comment? Ah. Because of the synthetic stock for the tuck case, which is exclusive to expert playing cards. That's a good, uh, a good one to have. It's a, a synthetic tuck case, which is like a plastic. It's never going to tear or anything like that. So, good idea. Uh, next up, Jack in the Green by Nick Carter, who's had a little bit of success, a little bit of failure on Kickstarter. Uh, this one... I don't know which way it's going to go yet. It's too soon to tell. It's 29% funded, 27 days to go. It's slowly funding. The artwork is nice. I like it. Here's the court cards. Uh, it's got kind of a, a grass <laughs> theme. Jack and the Beanstalk theme almost. Um, green colored suits, uh, which fits. Nice details on the faces. With fairly standard, uh, you know, pips, but custom. Interesting court cards, as you can see. Almost an orangey color for the hearts and diamonds, which is fitting. I like it. Uh, I think you should check it out. There's a bat design. Pretty simple. Kind of vintage style almost. That's why it kind of reminds you of like a, some kind of old vintage deck. Jokers are leaves. It's basically a leaf and grass. Spring and autumn theme. 
There's two different tuck cases, but just one deck, which is kind of the reverse print. You got a spring deck and an autumn deck. I don't really, I mean, I understand it, but I don't see the need for it. Seems like just an additional tuck case. Limited edition collector's box, which is pretty cool, but might end up costing them more money to produce than they will make on it. It's a nice thing to have if it's a deck that people are going to be interested in, but so far, eh, they got 11 people in for that collector box. But I don't know if, it, if, if it's worth, sometimes stuff like that is not worth the expense and this might be one of them. I'm not saying for a backwards, I'm saying for the creator. But let's move on. Next up, Cryptic Cards by Amy Smith. This one is funded, 27 days to go. It's basically standard faces and they've added butterflies and insects to them. Um, it's an okay idea. Not a huge fan of it. It just seems like it makes the cards a little bit harder to use when you're blurring out pips and stuff like that, and morphing them, whatever you want to call. But it's still interesting. No idea what the back design looks like, which is a little bit concerning for me. I'd like to know what that is. Especially if it's going to be, if it's a writer back, because that becomes a legal issue. And no idea who's producing them as well, which is also a turn off. But, I mean, it's an interesting idea if you like it. Go check it out. Hmm, maybe I should check out the website. They're not showing us anything about the backs. Moving along, uh, Crystal Radio. Uh, this is more music than playing cards, but it does have a deck of playing cards. Uh, the project is funded 23 days to go. It's some kind of a band, uh, music group, Crystal Radio. They got CDs and a flask apparently and record and yeah, old school record, <laughs> uh, by Daniel Martin Diaz. Here's a band. The unfortunate part is the price. Um, I'm trying to see here. Okay, apparently you can get it for 25 bucks plus shipping, whatever that works out to. Eight bucks Canadian. Uh, in the US, shipping is free. So they've added a pledge just for the deck because that wasn't there. It's the Hawk. You get the deck. Uh, apparently, every card face, card back, and tuck box is custom. It's the Hidden Hand Poker Deck. Designed in the MD signature style. Reflects a Victorian style. Let's see if we got any artwork. That's disgusting. I would not want a scorpion on my face. Especially my mouth. Um, you see the art, it's custom. Some, you know, standardness to it, but custom nonetheless. And that's that. Let's see if there's any more artwork. Oh, look at that. A flash drive. Yay. Nice tuck case, um, nice ace of spades. The court cards are nice. Everything's custom. One way back design with black borders, printed in the 310 premium GSM French linen casino quality card stock. They cannot put any more information to that. Premium 310 GSM French linen casino quality card stock. Yeah, <laughs> make it a little bit more longer, more information. If just keep it nice and simple, it wouldn't hurt. Uh, fairly standard on the number cards, custom court cards. I'm not sure I like them too much, but uh, I, I, I like them, but I'm not sure I like them that much to pay that much for them. I'm guessing printed by NBC, but no information on that that I know of. Uh, but it is what it is. Next up, Cardistry Card from Dan and Dave. Why did Dan and Dave need a Kickstarter project? I don't know, but here it is. It's funded. It's about the Cardistry Convention. 
Apparently it's happening in Berlin, Germany, because that's very convenient for people in North America or Asia, <laughs> for that matter. Um, there is a deck of cards, apparently designed by Benji Taylor, who I'm not a huge fan of. Um, it's fairly straightforward deck. It does have a nice custom ace of spades. The rest, I'm guessing, is completely standard. The back design is colorful, but it's a one-way back, which I don't understand. It does give them the ability to do four different fans, which is a courtesy style deck, which, I mean, makes sense, but at the same time, you'd think you'd want to keep it mirror imaged for the sake of other people, but whatever. It's pretty cool colors, you know, and shapes and figures and everything, but pretty simple. Uh, printed by USB-C and obviously produced by Autoplay and distributed by them. 15 bucks US for one deck, 22 bucks Canadian for one, and $26 international for one deck. Well, $26 US for one deck internationally, $22 US for one deck Canadian, $15 US for one deck in the US, so includes shipping. Um, it's basically, it's $10 plus shipping for one deck, which is fine. It's a fair price. I'm guessing all the code cards and everything are standard since they haven't addressed that. And if you want a ticket, 125 bucks, but they're sold out. You can get live stream actors for 25 bucks. And of course, there's a deck. Um, interestingly enough, you can add on the deck, but they haven't given you the information on how to add on a live stream if you want to do that. I guess you could do the live stream and add on a deck. But I have no interest in a live stream. I could care less about cardistry. No offense to anyone who does cardistry, but to me, it's just a bunch of juggling cards. Uh, it's not all that. And personally, I think it's much more creative to do magic and try to come up with tricks and ways to fool people. And it takes more effort. And it's more of an art form, I think. I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge fan of cardistry. No offense to cardistry or anything like that. It's just... I got a really big eagle about cardistry, and there's nothing to it. I mean, you see dozens and dozens of videos out there, hundreds of videos out there, and they all look the same. <laughs> because it's all the same moves. Wow. I mean, anyways, <laughs> moving along. It's an okay deck. Uh, next, I want to mention this one. I saw it on Indiegogo. Steam Riot playing cards. This one was previously on Kickstarter about a year ago. Did not make it. It's currently 73% funded with four days to go. Uh, sorry, 21 days to go. How the hell? Oh, that's the other one. Sorry. 29% funded, 21 days to go. I was looking at a completely different deck on Kickstarter. I apologize. So, yeah, 29% funded, 21 days to go. The chances of it funding, particularly on Indiegogo, is slim to none. I don't see it getting a whole lot more support, although now that I've mentioned it on my channel, some people might check it out, which is. You know, it's up to you. Nothing wrong with it. Um, not sure who's producing it. It's a colorful deck. It's an interesting deck. Um, poker theme. There's chips, apparently. Steampunk theme. You know, it's nothing wrong with it overall. Really colorful faces. I just don't think it's kind of fun. <laughs> um, to be printed... MPC, that's where the sample deck was made, but they're hoping to get USB-C printing, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> um, I wanted to mention one more thing as well. Indiegogo, thank you. Now you can actually use a credit card without PayPal on Indiegogo. It's a long time coming. It finally happened, so that means I can actually back projects on Indiegogo if they happen to come up, but this one is not one of them. <laughs> um... Also, I was talking about the Carter Street Con deck from Dan and Dave. Of course, it's funded 28 days to go. This brings up the question of MagicCon. What happened to MagicCon? MagicCon was supposed to be this year. The last one was in 2014. It happens every two years. There's 2012, 2014. There was one before that. The website has not been updated since 2014. <laughs> And there's no information or indication that there's going to be any more Magic Cons happening. I think personally, Dan and David decided to go with Cardistry Con instead of Magic Con, basically an FU to Magic. 
and I mean whatever, but that's the way I look at it. They're more interested in card history and floor scene and stuff like that, so by all means, whatever. New card history con. And you see there's a card history con deck coming from Art of Play. Nothing related to Magic Con. Um, it is what it is. By the way, Art of Magic still coming at some point in time from Art of Play, which seems to indicate that Dan and Davis' website is slowly going to be disappearing. Uh, I don't know how much more we'll see from Dan and Dave in the future, especially with this new website and Art of... I mean, they got Art of Play for playing cards and games, and then they got Art of Magic coming for Magic. They don't need Dan and Dave dot com anymore at least not in the future if art of magic happens it's there the website is there but it hasn't launched yet anyways i wanted to mention this one you uh uc deck sales.com it's a new website from united cardist selling decks uh they're giving some stuff away if you spend 50 bucks you might want to check it out i'm not sure if it's open to the public as of yet but it's there who saved 45 bucks yeah no that's save 45 bucks i think that price is over the kill. <laughs> Over the kill, really. Not yet released except here. That doesn't mean it's worth 95 bucks. Sorry, but yeah. I had to disagree with some of the prices. This, I mean, the Legend set, that's a good price. Crown Luxury, that's a good price. Uh, Heretic Deck. Seems a bit pricey, especially when the other one is 25 bucks. But that just could be because he doesn't have that much. That one is Stockholm 17 here. That's a good price. Very limited deck. And that seems like it's a good price. For the Requiem. You know, it is what it is. Next up, Citizens from Fury 11 is now released. Pretty nice tuck case. Lots of gold foil. Nice, interesting custom seal. Intricate art inside and out, apparently. Uh, although, I don't know if there's anything on the inside of the tuck case, for sure. Um, oh yeah, there is. Pretty nice. Ace of Spades, nice and custom. Um, nice tuck, uh, nice uh, wooden case you can get here if you really want to spend the money. Um, also, some more images here. And, oh, that was a Joker. Very nice. Where's the back design? Where are you, back design? Hmm. The back design is... Oh, here we go. It's here. There it is. It's a nice back design. Lots of detail. Very nice, but simple at the same time. Mirror image and everything. Accord cards, despite the fact that they mentioned this, no detail was overlooked. Um, and apparently they deleted my comment on the Facebook page related to that, but I don't know. Um, yeah, the court cards are going to be completely standard, possibly a little recalling, because they have not shown us a court card. If they don't show us a court card, and there ain't nothing special about it. And I'm sticking with that. Next up, Lux Elliptica is available for pre-order. You can get a set of full four, including uh, numbered seals and numbered coins. 100 available. I'm getting one of these because it's, uh, why not? <laughs> Numbered uh, coin and decks. Very nice coin. It's 36 pounds for that set of four with the coin numbered and everything. Or you can get them just individually for a little bit less. Uh, I don't know if all the seals are numbered, but here it's saying 500 out of a thousand. But it's saying only 99 sets. So I don't know. <laughs> Completely custom, as you can see, nice faces. They're, they're pretty much Arco faces, but they've been recolored and customized. Nice jokers, ace of spades. Very nice back design and colors, four different colors. Uh, of course, all designed by Randy Butterfield. Like the original one, so. Pre-order available right now. Go check it out. Also, Collectible Point Cards has a couple of decks available. First of all, this one I wanted to mention. I mentioned it last week. A white expert at the card table deck. The Jokers do say uh, copyright SW Erd Nas, which is stupid. 
1500 produced. The quality is not quite on par with other decks from Expo Point Cards or Legends Point Cards or even USB-C. But it's also not horrible. It's not bad. I mean, if you really want to get it for your collection, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you want to get a deck to use for, for Magic or Cardistry, you can get something better. I would not recommend it for that. Next up, one last deck to tell you about. Oh, actually, I want to mention something else. Uh, Illusionist is now selling the Prohibition decks individually, but only to people who bought the set previously. So you can actually get the decks individually for yourself. I'm guessing eventually they'll make it available to everyone. And they were also selling a set of Seconds decks, which is decks that you know may have some damage on them. And they may be missing cellophane or torn cellophane. They might have a dent on them. It's a scratch and dent sale. It, it was like 15 decks for I think 60 bucks or something like that. Random decks. I mean, go check it out. Who knows? You might get a pretty cool deck, but I would not uh, expect, you know, a red artifice or anything like that. But uh, one more deck to tell you about. This is from, uh, illustrated by, or designed by Jason Brumbelow, illustrated by Abraham Garcia. It's the Darkfall playing cards, made by USB-C and released from Murphy's Magic, available at collectible playing cards right now on the pre-order. Very nice custom uh, tuck case, nice back design. They got a really cool video on this that I did post on my channel. You can check out. Black faces. Completely custom. Really cool. Available at collectiblepointcards.com right now. Use the code VJOSA32 and save 10% on your order. They got all sorts of other stuff available as well. Like the Dapper Deluxe decks. They just added a Smith number freeze. They got the four point playing cards. They got that expert at the card table deck. Bicycle Utopias in gold and black gold. Omnias, Vincent's Royals, Mummies, etc., etc. 790 new products. That's tons of stuff. They keep adding more and more every week, it seems. Uh, so go check it out. It's a good website. Tons of decks. If you're looking for anything, they probably have it. And of course, Vito Save 32 saves you 10% on your order. That's that. I've talked long enough. I know you don't like hearing me talk on and on and on. So, that's that. Some cool stuff on Kickstarter this week. Check out Jet Shadow. Check out Liberty. Um, Cardistry deck if you really like. But I fairly recommend Jet Shadow and the Liberty decks. Uh, and, of course, the Gluttony. And various others that are on there right now. That is that, though. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. See ya.